and gentlemen, welcome to, of course, another episode of Games That Define Us. We are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And of course, if you are familiar with this show, and if you are not, we have come with a new format. Rather than just talking about going down memory lane, we actually want to put people in the driver's seat and get to experience the games that you said that defines them, whether it be past, present, no matter what, or even current times. Thanks to Kalos Media, we are able to do so. And it wouldn't be games that define us if we didn't start off with the arcade tokens of course so for this episode you've seen what pat has brought to the table now we're gonna pass it over to the realm of uh slickovania as nice. i heard last night nice. uh, to nice. mr cleo thomas let us know what game you are presenting today the stage is yours let's go goddesses and the werewolves i bring you a game that might have been one of the first i actually bought for the PS2 console when this drops. I gotta give Sega, or, or is it Capcom or Sega? One of the two, whoever's the actual studio behind this, for going really, it is Sega, right? They went. They did a lot of great marketing for this game. It was crazy. The commercials that they ran were like almost movie level, like trailers during this time to promote this game. The game is Shinobi for the PS2. For those of you who know, Shinobi has a long history in video games on the Sega. There's like several ones, like the Revenge of the Ninja. There's so many, there's a really, really good one on the Sega. But when they brought it to the PS2, they killed the graphics, they killed his design. <laughs> Look at the headband with the eyes on it. He's got this long red scarf that flows behind him. It's such a great, well-designed game, and we're gonna jump right into yeah. it. I ain't gonna play, I'm not gonna waste no time. Let's go. Do we wanna see the cutscenes yeah. or anything? Yeah. Okay, let's, 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 let's like, okay, all right, okay, okay all right. I said, man, that man's scarf game fire. I'm like, I wanna see this. <laughs> it's fire, it's fire. You remember when everyone was kind of into scarves for a minute, like Louis and all that stuff? They were like Jim Jones and then were rocking <laughs> them big ass scarves. What's, what's the ones that got like that go with like a suit? Not so it ain't like it ain't a scarf that wrap around your neck, but you can kind of like put it right here and they come down. What's the? It's a shawl. Yeah, I want that. I'm about great, I'm about to great word. I'm about to get my shawl game up. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice. You knew this day would come. That corset is killing her rib cage. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you was right about the scarf. Did y'all who who was it that had the scarf that wrapped around like they mouth a little bit? Where it was like, but it was like still big enough to where you they can see could their still face. talk and stuff. Yeah, Strider. Was it Strider? Strider from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Nice. No, not him. Strider. Not him. Strider. Yeah, he kind of looked like. Yeah, he kind of looked like. No, 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 no. It's from Final Fantasy. I don't remember anybody with um, like scarf. No, you he uh, Kadeem, uh, Kadeem, ah. You know who I'm talking about. Who's the dude? Uh, 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 what is it? Saint Valentine? Is that his name? Oh, you talking about Vincent? Valentine. Vincent? Vincent? Yeah, Valentine. Vincent Valentine. Yeah. Good I call. Well, I am. So, I am shocked that you were able to pull that one out. No lie. Scarf. That's Vincent a hell of a one. That was a good one. Name? No, I remember Valentine. his video game. His video game was fire. Oh yeah, Dredge 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 What's so crazy to me about about him as a character is that you could almost play that you, you could play that game and never have him. Like you could beat the yeah. game and then find out what do you mean I could have had two more other characters. You yeah, would go you, back and replay Yuffie it just to get them. Yeah, Yuffie and Vincent are hidden characters. You don't have to beat that game without them. Yeah. Man. All right, so my man, the monk, to drop demons off in New York City. And they attack tanks. Tanks <laughs> that just happen to be randomly sitting in the streets. Well, hey man, martial, martial law, we know what it is. Hey. So, I, I will say this, thanks to good old Jesse Wright, uh, he obviously has played a lot of this game. He played the first one and the second one, because there was a second one called Nightshade that, that followed the uh, female protagonist. Oh, this one? Yes, of Shinobi. Oh, I didn't they know actually, this Yeah, game. they actually had two games. So apparently nice. that's your brother. Yes. The dude, with the, the dude with the red eyes and everything, that that is Shinobi's brother. Right. So, wow. You're fighting your some brother pretty much throughout this. Some Storm Shadow Snake Eyes kind of stuff, G.I. Joe, I get it. A lot of family beef in PlayStation history. Yeah. It's all fa all I think family just beef. in general. I think just in general. I think it goes back to Cain and Abel. Like, think about it. Uh, Speed Racer. Time Racer of the X. story. Uh, it's always a time of the story. The brother somewhere evil. Yeah. Speed Racer was um, fighting his brother? Yeah. Racer, mm -hmm. X. Racer, Racer, Racer X. Racer X was his brother. Oh. Yeah. I didn't go deep into the Speed Racer. Go Speed Racer. What, what year did that? Nothing. Yeah, what year did that come out? Nah, that's old. That's like the cartoons are old as hell. But the movie yeah. though, Kadeem, you love that movie, right? First of all, I I think that movie was really? slept on. It lost a lot of money in the box office, but it was a great movie. 
Yo, Kadeem. I didn't even see it. The, the Wachowskis directed yeah, the, the that, and directed. they killed that movie low key. The, how the graphics look, and they're swimming the Mach 5. That, that movie's the dope, Will. The, co the colors Kadeem. are wild. The colors are wild. Yes. This, this he just our, cut this, a building in half. I'm sorry, Kadeem. This is all I got to tell you, sir. Um, I'm going to buy you a Tesla truck because. I felt so alone for so many years. Oh. Didn't nobody like that movie but me in my circle. Nice. I was like, this shit is fire. Yeah. yeah I was like, I do not mind Elijah Woods as Speed Race. I was like, I won't That's now. That's not Elijah Woods. That's Emil Hirsch. Emil Hirsch. Same people. Same yeah, people. I understand why. Yeah. yeah. I get Same it. person. I get it. Uh, when, no. when, when, race, when racism ends, yeah, y'all are two different people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is his uh, uh, headband supposed to be after a beetle? Yeah, I always wanted to know that. Because the, the eyes? The eyes, yeah. the eyes thing. Are those, is that like a beetle eyes? I don't eyes? know. I don't know, Pat. That is a good question. I, th listen, I'll be a, go ahead and be honest about this game. I didn't never got a chance to beat it. I never got a it's chance tough. to get all the way through. It's, the, it's a it's very tough right? game. Yeah, yeah you, you don't get a clear indication of where you're supposed to go very early. Uh, the bosses are, are really well designed, but I never beat this game, so I never really got all the way through the storyline to know exactly what was going down. Hmm. Well, I will ask this, though, because you know you are, you are an anime fan. Um, what I am getting a vibe from from the headband, too, is kind of like, uh, yeah. let, me say it, let me say it right so it don't look like I'm trying to be funny. Naruto. Careful. No. Right. Naruto. No. Naruto. 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 It gives me, but too it much gives me. Though. Again, I don't, I don't like the show. I'm just. Okay. You know, well, they were all, not they were all Shinobi, so that's why. Yeah, I, but you know. but it still has that same kind of, you know, like design. And stuff. Yeah. But oh, it's because they're think. Shinobis. Yeah, like yeah. like you remember remember when we were talking about Naruto and it was like a ninja like a school for like little ninja kids. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that, a lot of the ninja culture, especially with like the two fingers in the front of your face, like <laughs> they have like similarities. Probably because okay, so all... those so the, so those headbands have like a distinction throughout like all of this kind of like ninja world and stuff. Yeah, for the most part, every uh, every like popular ninja, at least in like video games and anime that I've seen, has some type of metal plate on their forehead. Yeah, because that's what he has right now for the eyes right there. And I was right. noticing like the two little bolt things right there. So I'm like, I was, didn't know if that was like a thing Ooh. for ninjas or what. Low key. Okay. I mean, I, I didn't really think about it, but the um, Ryu from the what's that? What's the other ninja game that's really really Hayabusha. difficult? Ninja guy. That's mine. Ninja Gaiden. There you go. Is, that's mine. Wait, is Busha Ninja Gaiden in yeah. Japanese? Uh, I don't know, but I know that that's him. That's that's a, that's a family name. <laughs> Get him oh, out of here. Okay. It's a family name. Love this that's though. Cool. Love the slow motion animation kills. Like that was such a cool yeah. thing. Yeah, I love it. Such yeah. a cool thing, bro. So cinematic. You can definitely tell that they were like, all right, we got a stronger console of PS2. We're really gonna push the limits with this. Slow everything down, shift the camera angle, and get a cool action shot. That was dope. His stance when you still is hilarious too. I right. Like it. Yeah. yeah, bend back. <laughs> I almost I Yo, yeah. <laughs> so, so the, the uh, best it. part about it too is like if you get like a multiple kill, like let's say you get kill like eight people in a top certain time limit, like it mm -hmm. does a crazy old cutscene shows where, where they all died at on the screen on the uh, on the map. So I've never seen that one. Yeah, you got you got to like really be moving. Like you got to know where people are coming from to so kind of pull that off. I ain't gonna lie, this con, this the way like this plays, this would be great for a spawn game. Like if spawn Ooh. got a video game, this would be a great way to make it. I can see that. Yeah. So I mean, spawn had one on. It was called Spawn Armageddon. It was on the Xbox, and the, it, was, it was it's cool. I played it. It played like Devil May Cry a little bit. It, it yeah. Was, that, but and, and, but what? it's like I didn't it's know Spawn had a game with Xbox. Like yeah, uh, it, it 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 was cool, but it was like it was like you said it was like Devil May Cry, but it was like missing all the good parts that Devil May Cry what made that. New. Yeah, as exactly. far as like as far as like gameplay wise and stuff. Yeah, a little clunky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah the, the camera angle thing always threw me off with this because it's the complete opposite. If I'm rotating the camera left, I kind of expect it to go. It's weird. That I always think, threw me for a You can inverse it, I think. For sure, I would love to inverse it. Now I think about looking back on it. Yeah, that'd have been great to do as a kid. But I didn't. I didn't care. You just get in the game. You just want to play. Yeah, you yeah. adapt to it. What, yeah. what happens when you get a bunch of those? Uh, it unlocks like a uh, like character arts like and stuff. Yeah. Art, stuff like that. Yeah. I think I think you get the I think you get the old costume stuff like that. Nice. How, yeah. how did y'all feel? Uh, wow. Oh wow. Broke him all down. Uh, how did y'all feel about that? Like when you like let's say. You just did like beat a double boss and stuff like that that you've been like kind of like having trouble with for the last day or so. And then the thing you unlock is just art. Oh. 
if you're a completionist like Kadeem, I think you you still appreciate it. But like, yeah, I'd, I'd feel some type of way. Completionist. I, I feel like I only like 100% certain games, and it depends on like like Will said, what do I get? You know, like it, it has to be worth it. Even if I really like, if I really like the game, I'll, I'll 100% it just to do it. But like, if if you have to do all these things and like torture yourself for months and months and months just for like some art or like a little trophy, I probably won't do it. <laughs> yeah, I felt like that when I played uh, Arkham City and I had fought Mr. Freeze and it was so hard to beat Mr. Freeze and like the only thing I unlocked was like artwork in his profile and I was like, yeah. like give me a weapon. Wait, but did you but did you need to defeat him to advance in the game or was it optional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a part of the story to advance in the game. So it's like, oh, that, well, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was just like. Some things like, but it's like, if you go beat something else, you get a whole bunch of stuff for life. That's a lot you, easier. You can get no points or no like gadgets, no magic. No, no, <laughs> nothing. Right, right. I got nothing. To, <laughs> right. I can't add yeah. to my utility belt. Go to that, that way or this way? That way. Where, where are you technically? Yeah, I, I'm going to assume Tokyo. I'm going to assume we're in Japan. I'm not going to assume New York. Is it kind of open? It seems like it's kind of open. But not yet. Boom. We got to get this past this and this is going to blow up. There we go. No, no, not the not the door, like the map. It seems kind of like an open, and you kind of go and backtrack a lot, like Spyro. A, a little bit, like that's what my, what my brother was saying. You can for sure get lost. There it is. Cool. There's a slow motion cut. Boom. That was dope. Yeah. That was dope. That was dope. That was nice. that was right, I don't know how I missed this. This looks uh, sick. Yeah, no, it, it for sure, that's how you can get lost though, Pat. Like, because it doesn't really tell you, it doesn't have like a little arrow where you're, which way you're supposed to go. So mm -hmm. you can for sure end up getting lost. So you literally like just running through a city, and if you close that side, ain't in the right place, you kind of screwed. You're screwed. Yeah. yeah. I've got I got lost in this game. I was like, bro, I can't play this anymore because I don't know where to go. No, I can I can see. Like yeah. if it, if it's just like running through a city, yeah. And of course, you just gotta kill enough people for the door to open up too. So you gotta go fight people in order to advance. And you your sword ends up killing you. Yeah. The blade, How? The blade gets, your blade gets cursed, so I gotta continue to kill or feed on blood. The whole thing, you know. Oh yeah, you're and then a what? And then you kill yourself? Uh, you no, I mean, at the, I, I mean, at the, I guess I don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the game because of course me and my brother never beat this, but oh, oh. so wait, then how do you know he ends like... up killing you? No, I'm, I'm saying like if, later on in the game, there's gonna be a mechanic that literally, if, if you're not killing people, see the little, uh, the little fire the for, his, for his life, it's oh, gonna continue wow. to drain. It's gonna continue to drain you, if you're not. You killing have to something. keep fighting. You gotta yeah, you keep, have fighting. To keep fighting. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm like how close steps are. Oh snap! Helicopter. I gotta ask though. Uh, what year is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, due to the map, you know, like the map being so confusing, like do y'all do y'all have like a map that comes to mind that y'all kind of like know by heart? Like if you if we just play this, like I know exactly what this spot is and this spot is. The first Super Mario Brothers for sure. Oh, oh I was I was actually. I was gonna say Super Mario 64, that Yeah, I know where they go. <laughs> I know exactly how to get every, the bomb up there. Everything, every star, every red coin is just oh, kind of oh, like oh, automatic. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Man, I gotta, I gotta say Santa uh, uh, GTA 5 for me now. Like, okay. I literally have turned that into a, I know where everything is at. Is that the I bank? Is that, that the bank one? Shit. The bank robbery? Which one? No, no, I'm just talking about uh, GTA 5 online, like in general, like low sand. Oh, like, I know the map. entire map. Yeah. Oh, god dang. There you go. I gotta be careful. You're gonna shot me with a blade. Damn, I can't even. You gotta That's fight not... a helicopter with a sword? Yep. Right. right. Get up there. Damn, you... the double jump is killing me every time. Do you have a sword the whole game? Uh, yeah. That pretty much is, is it, primary. You, you, just, you just switch up magic or what? <sighs> you can never fight with that. I'm okay. definitely using the magic on his ass right now. Come here. Go hey, Let's bro. go. Yeah. That, that's kill him with that's the sword. That. Oh, he's not done. He's almost done. Imagine what the, the helicopter Jesus. pilots were saying to each other. Like, this is this happening? <laughs> right? Are we really losing to him? <laughs> like, think, is, he is he winning? All that technology. What year is this supposed to take place in? Uh, there's, an year. I, there's an actual year. I know that. Let me look. Oh, yeah. I know there's an actual year. For this it's year. 1999. <laughs> you, know, that's, you know, that's everybody saying. He kind of got those Batman, what are those, gauntlets or shin guards? Yeah, the, but the fact that those yeah. are the... 
What are those called? The throwing Kuranai. stars? Yeah. Really? Kuranai, Kuranai. Yeah, it comes out of his uh his gauntlets. So is he oh, like no. is he flicking it at people or taking them out and then he's throwing like, them? He's like literally grabbing them from the forearm and oh, tossing okay. them. That's that's pretty dope. So it's like retractable. <laughs> mm. Like if you look up the the actual cover of the game, like you see them like all distinctly like sticking out. It's such a great design. That's what really Man. sold me on this game. Hey, I gave you that. C. Oh, I missed an actual thing. Damn it! Yeah, man. But this is for sure one of the goats, man. I forgot. Oh, and you get more cutscene. Here we go. Okay, okay. Two yeah. brothers That's having it out. Oh, I love it. When I took that ass whooping because you didn't wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me by the cherry blossoms. <laughs> We're gonna fight epic. Be strong. I want to find these trees and just have a sword fight. Take Akuchiki. Like every time you see these trees, I just be like, yo, a sword fight gotta be happening somewhere. Dang, they had to fight to the death just to just to prove the, whatever they were proving. He's like, all right, you're leader now. This on you. This on you. on you. This on on your cow. <laughs> Not the cows. This on on the cows. This <laughs> on. Is that from a movie? <laughs> That's from uh, Mulan. Yeah, Mulan. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. He said, That's it. The sun on you. The sun <laughs> on your cow. <laughs> oh, and the head cut. Dang, he had to chop his brother's head off. Dang. I told you, it's a I dishonor. See, I lost. I see why I see why he mad, man. But uh, Cleo, how does it feel to be back in the driver's seat of Shinobi, man? Being able to go through the game, being able to play once again. How does it feel? Uh, stage one felt amazing. I, I just know that if I jump right back into it, I'm going to want to beat it and go all the way through it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should give it a shot this yeah. time to try to go all the way through. Can you correct me if I'm wrong? Did we did we play this demo at E3 when we were kids? Uh, I think did you did. I think we did because they had a booth. I'm not tripping, yeah. right? I think we did. I think it's the same time we've played Mortal Kombat Deception. Yeah, so we did get me and Kadeem did get a chance to go to E3 one of the years that this was uh, getting ready to premiere. So we did play this game then. So that's why I was sold off of it so early and couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So yeah, it's good. It's good to have it back. And so we, of course, like on Games and Define is what we uh, try to figure out uh, with these games that if it was to come back to get a remake and stuff like that, where do you think it could land? Like from what I'm looking like, I'm not gonna lie, full full reboot, like okay. all consoles for me. Yeah. Like, it can do yeah, it. I'm right there with you. It, it can for sure do it. It has enough, enough like clout, honestly. Like, yeah, Shinobi. Yeah, it's Shinobi. Like the uh, put him in Smash. Put him uh, in word Smash. is, word is, there's a movie coming out, but you didn't hear that from me. Oh wow. Early development. It's on Shinobi. The way. Shinobi. Yep. Oh, That'd I thought it. you were talking about Smash Bros. I'm like, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. That'd be no, expensive no. as hell. <laughs> Nintendo ain't playing that yet. You know they're not. See, this already got, like, I'm already upset and frustrated because I don't you know. You gotta go back. You, you literally gotta jump up there, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta ride the walls. You're missing this ain't the, even, wall, the wall right. This ain't even level two. This is like level 1B. Is this that is what it's saying? Yes. <laughs> one you, you gotta B. ride the walls, bro. Keep, no. Which Keep wall? Going. Ride Keep the walls, Cleo. Ride the walls. See, <laughs> jump, double jump on that wall and jump yeah, back and forth. Get in the walls. Get there in the get, walls. There you go. Get your, get your Chris Brown on, man. <laughs> but man, make sure y'all check continue to check out games that define us man and let us know in the comments which games define you and why take us down your memory lane and you never know which one of your favorite games you may back? pop up Hold on. Of your favorite people because i like what will set up now i want us to sing it while i do it <laughs> okay here we go, here we go, here we go. wait wait I don't hear nothing but ladies calling. No I'm trying to get one of them all in because they keep coming. From no! Oh, oh, hell yeah. Never you ain't mind. Chris Brown. You ain't CB. <laughs> you ain't CB. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have been the Arcade Tokens. I'm the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, they gave us a slick living. Patrick Cloud. Shout out to Kalos Media. We will catch you next time.